Earlier you issued, uh, you know, your language that you approved the uh, passage of SB2 uh, you know, about concealed carry. Uh, you know, Fresno is a very pro concealed carry area. I know you're just chatting with Chief Bald Rama. He may disagree with you on how this goes, but you know, how do you sell something like that to a place like Fresno, for, for, you know, the city and the county, who've been kind of pro-gun, pro-concealed carry? The data is what I like to rely on and, and always fall back to, the evidence that California has some of the strongest gun safety laws in the nation and one of the lowest firearm mortality rates in the nation. And those things go hand in hand. We have one of the lowest firearm mortality rates in the nation because we have some of the strongest gun laws in the nation. It is causal. It's not accidental. It's not happenstance. Um, decades ago, we had one of the highest firearm mortality rates, and then we um, started strengthening our laws. Do CCW holders, are they the ones committing gun crimes? Some are. Some have in the past. And if you give everyone a CCW uh, uh, without dis discretion and without uh, review, then uh, certainly there will be more people who are not law-abiding and more dangerous who will get a CCW who can commit a crime. And so the whole point of a CCW um, regime uh, that looks at dangerousness and looks at uh, use in sensitive sites is to make sure uh, that those who have CCWs will uh, be law-abiding and uh, not commit crimes. Um, but the data does show that those with CCWs in the past across different states have committed crimes.